Hello friends, and welcome back to Unbound Learners Pre-K. My name is Nina. What's your name? It's nice to meet you. It's time to sing our good morning song together. So let's stretch out our arms like airplane wings. We'll fly to this side, over to the other side, fly back to the middle. Big stretch out in front. Now take the circle up over your head. We'll stretch on this side, over to the other side. One last stretch, and now it's time to sing together. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, friends. Happy Monday. I hope that you all had a great weekend. Before we move on to the calendar and weather chart, we have three things that we need to do quickly. Number one, let's turn on our listening ears. Next, we have to put on our thinking hats. So you look for your thinking hat. My thinking hat is over here. I'm going to put it on top of my head. And today my thinking hat has a zipper underneath my chin. So I'm going to zip it up. And the last thing that we need to do is warm up our hearts. Boom, 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 boom. Let me grab my pointing stick and we can go over the date together. So right up here at the top of the chart, we have the month. Do you remember what the month is? October. Today is October 18th. So let's move the chip over from the number 15. The last time that we met was Friday, October 15th. So we're going to move it from the number 15 to the number 16, 17, and put it right on the number 18, because today is October 18th, and the year is 2021, but you can also say 2021. So it's time to count to see how many days we've had so far in the month of October. We definitely need to stretch out our counting fingers. And I also think that we should take a deep breath together since we have quite a bit of counting to do. Let's take a deep breath in through our noses and out from our mouths. Are you ready? Counting fingers are ready. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. We've had eighteen days so far in the month of October. And now it's time to sing the Days of the Week song. So let's hold up seven fingers like this. And if you know the words, sing along with me. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Down at the bottom of the chart, we have the days of the week to go over together. So listen for the sound that the day starts with, and you can tell me what the day is. This says that yesterday was s Sunday, the last day of the weekend. That means that today is M Monday, the first day of the weekday. And tomorrow will be T Tuesday. Let's go back and sing Today is Monday together. Today is Monday, today is Monday, today is Monday, all day long. Today is Monday, today is Monday, today is Monday, all day long. Back up at the top of the chart, we have the season. What's the season right now, friends? Fall. That's right. 
And do you remember the other word for fall? Autumn. Fall and autumn are the same seasons. Now it's time to go back down to the bottom of the chart where I have a picture of the weather. That means that it's time to sing the weather song together. Will you sing with me? What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? Can you tell? Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? So today where I live, it definitely feels like a fall day. The sun is mostly out, although I do see a couple clouds in the sky right now. And my temperature chart has moved from orange to light blue because it's pretty chilly outside. Chilly, but mostly sunny. And what do you see outside of your window today? Thanks for sharing with me. Let's move on to the letter, the number, and the sign of the week. Today is Monday, so we have a new capital letter to talk about. This letter says N. Can you make that sound with me? N. And this is an uppercase or capital N. N says N. Just like in my name. My name is Nina, and Nina starts with the letter N. N. I wonder what we'll find today inside of the letter box. It's something that starts with the letter N, N. Here's your first clue. This is a type of a food. It's usually eaten with tomato sauce. And another word for this is pasta. Hmm, what could it be? Let's take a look. This is a noodle, also called pasta. I like to eat tomato sauce with my noodles. Noodle starts with the letter N. N. This is how you write an uppercase N. N. One more time. And here is the new number of the week. This is the number 21. Now, when you write this double digit number, you have to write two numbers. Can you show me with your fingers what number you write first? Two. And after the number two, you write this number. One. Two, one. 21. Let's count to the number 21 together using the large bead frame. This is how you count to the number 21 using the large bead frame. 10, 20, one. Two tens, one unit, 21. We have one more thing to count today inside of the number box. I have some blades of grass and as I count them, I'll line them up across the top of the box so we can count together. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And one more makes 21. 21 blades of grass. We also have a new sign of the week to learn today. Remember friends, sign language is a language that uses hand gestures and facial expressions to communicate instead of speaking words out loud. Today, I'm going to show you how to say science in sign language. So you're going to take your thumbs from both of your hands and you're just going to put your thumb in a downward motion like this, science. 
You try. Science. This week we are going to move from our study on autumn to science. We are going to discuss how and why things happen and I have some great experiments to share with you over the next few days. Let's open up today's topic of conversation with the subject of a volcano. A volcano is a mountain or a large hill with an opening at the top. When the volcano erupts or explodes, lava, smoke, and gas come out of the opening. But what causes the volcano to erupt in the first place? Well, inside of the volcano is magma, which is a very hot liquid that rises out of the volcano during an eruption. Once the magma cools, it's called lava. So if you've been joining me during circle time for a while, you'll probably know by now how much I enjoy using baking soda and white vinegar to make a chemical reaction. And that's what we're going to do for today's work. Let's go. For today's work, we are going to make our own volcano erupt. So I have a glass of water that I filled about halfway, and I also added a few drops of red food coloring. I have some baking soda and some white vinegar. The first thing that I'm going to do is to take my baking soda and I'm going to pour it into the glass of red water. And the last step is to add the white vinegar, sit back and watch. Wow! That was definitely a quick eruption. Let's get back to circle time. Welcome back to circle time, friends. Thanks for learning with me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Give my video a thumbs up and find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. At this time, I am now offering one-on-one -on -one tutoring sessions as well as curriculum consultations, so feel free to reach out for more information. Before we go, we have one final song to sing, so let's wave goodbye like this. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow.